monitoring software should automatically boot. This process can take several minutes. Once it is running, click Sector Setup in any of the sectors. Click All Controls. Click Service, then OK. Enter the password M3150, the word Philips, or Support User, and hit Enter. Click Configuration. In the drop down menu, select Config Wizard, then click Yes to confirm. The system will then exit monitoring mode and boot up into the configuration software. Skip through the Restore from Archive and Software Version and Security Updates by clicking Next. At the Purchase Options and Support Information screen, you can rename the Central in the Device Name box. Once this is done or you do not wish to change it, click Next. The next screen is the Database General Configuration Settings screen, which is for a network system, which we will not be covering in this guide. Skip it by clicking Next. On the Local General Configuration Settings screen, select your desired settings in the various options. Most users leave everything in default settings. Once all the desired changes, if any, have been made, click Next. At the Network Configuration screen, select the clinical unit in the upper left section and click the Edit. Enter the desired name and select Flex, then click OK. Next, click the device that corresponds to the device name you injured in the Purchased Options and Support Information screen in the list of Networked and Central Hallways section and click Edit. In the pop-up window, you can again edit the device name if you wish. Also, verify the proper recorder type that is selected, then click OK. Click Next to continue. At the Display Setup screen, select your desired settings for Patient Name Display, Sweep Speed, Second Lead ECG, and Color Scheme. Click Next to continue. The next screen is the Equipment Setup screen. First add in the beds by selecting Bed in the Label Type section on the left-handed side and click Add. To add a single bed, type in the desired prefix, maximum of six characters including the index number sign, clear the Start with Index field, highlight the associated unit, and click OK. The prefix you select here will be the display prefix in the sector in monitoring mode. To add multiple beds with the same prefix, follow the same process except do not clear the start with index field and change the number of labels field to the number of beds you need to add. Next select telemetry in the label type section. Click add, then select SDN and follow the same procedures as adding beds one at a time or in multiple. We will not be covering adding monitors in this guide. Consult the Philips Telemetry System Installation Guide for those proper procedures. Once you have finished adding the required beds and telemetry, you will need to assign them to the LBN numbers in your mainframe. It's either programmed to one, sectors 1 through 8, 9 through 16, or 17 through 24. To do so, select the first LBN in your mainframe's programmed range, then click Setup. In the pop-up screen, select Telemetry, then Equipment Label on the drop-down list, followed by the bed label desired, and click OK. Repeat this process for all previously programmed beds and telemetry. Once you are finished, click Next to continue. The next screen is the bed config screen. Select the desired options for fast alarm display, 
number of sectors, waves per sector, and one or two column layout on the left-handed side. Next, assign each bed to a sector by clicking Assign, then each bed followed by the sector you wish to assign it to. Once all beds are assigned, click OK, followed by Next to continue. Leave the Report Settings screen options at their default settings and click Next. On the Report and Recording Destination screen, verify the recorder type listed in the Recording Destination section. Be sure it matches the type of recorder your system has. If it does not, select the proper type and then click Next to continue. At the Date and Time Setup screen, verify the correct settings for your locality. If they are incorrect, highlight each incorrect field and use the up or down arrows to adjust them. Once all fields are correct, click Next. At the Archive screen, you can create a floppy disk backup to store all of your system's purchase options and settings. If your system did not come with one, it is highly recommended that you create one by using a floppy disk in Drive A then click Start Archiving and follow any system prompts. Once that is done, or if you are not creating one at this time, click Finish. Your system is now configured for use. Click Return to Monitoring in the lower left hand corner. Once the system returns to monitoring mode, Verify that all sectors read no signal. If they do, the system is ready for use. If they do not, please call us at 800-626-4515 and ask for a BMES technician for help.